Alright, and welcome back to the uh, Malfa project. As you can see, as before. And where did I left my pen? Oh, there it is. Oh. So, uh, let's get started on it. So, today we're going to finish off the uh, last part of the uh, of the last arm. And then we're going to focus on making the beginnings towards the uh, butt part. So, we're going to make a... Uh, we're gonna make a big giant butt because it's it's necessary this time because you know we're gonna pick up the aspect of the uh, Malfar project. Well, let me just just double check one single thing and that's the voice. Pick up the aspect. All right, it works fine. Don't need to put that that big. Oh hey market, <laughs> hey market the three D. How doing? Yeah, it looks nice, right? Yeah, it's it's badass. But yeah, I need to uh, get this thing up and running. Um, that's the layer line. Yes, that's the layer line. Correct. Alright, let's go. Um, so I need to put this on full screen. And I need to control shift and then I can turn it. Uh, nope. Control shift again. I can turn it around like that. And now I can move like this. And I can work around it. So what? Ah, that's the line. All right. So we remove that line, which is important, and now we can just work on the. All right. So this is the claw. That's the thing. All right. We can stop now. Um, let's go. So um, let me just double check one single thing, and I think this works. Alright, so it's on the point. Good. Means that I don't have to calibrate it again. Like I used to do. All the time. Because it was not fully functioning. So yeah. I'm trying to do my very best upon getting this thing fixed, so well at least colored in soon, so um, should be fine. Once we finally develop the whole uh, but, uh, bottom part of the Hotmail project, we can then continue on the body itself. And once the body gains texture, you know, um, I think we're then good to go for coloring. And once the coloring is done, then we can add some shades, and then you know we can add some environments to give the creature a more you know good look, or well, better look. Still need to ask uh, Hex about that. Like I didn't fully understand where it was. Oh, probably it was in the pine forest. So. But yeah, now I don't know. I didn't pay too much attention. I did pay attention on most of it, but not all of it. So I need to do. I need to ask to him again once I'm finished. You know, with the whole you know morph arc itself. So yeah, um, morph arc project. A great project to be, and uh, coloring feathers is like a dream come true because it's always the same. It never changes. It only changes when I want to. So yeah. It may be look like repetitive work, but you know, it's not repetitive because it's still, you know, unstable in most cases. Like if I if I look at it or you know, if I draw a draw, you know, not every single line is the same, not every single uh, part of it is the same. So I wouldn't consider it to be all the same at the same time, but you know, it's a thing that can happen. But yeah, so today we're going to be focusing on that, and then I'm going to be looking for a great, uh, a great, uh, a great back tail, or well, more, more better. I need to look for a good way of you know creating the. Static electricity that it actually makes. Apparently, this creature has static electricity on power, so I need to figure out like what I'm gonna do. 
already have decided I'm not going to put it inside of the wings. I'm going to be putting it inside of the butt, in the bottom area. Like, you know, normally it's called a tail, but it's a butterfly. What's it's then called? Something. Definitely something. Some word that I don't know. And I don't have the time to look at that, look at, look forward to it, because, you know, I'm busy drawing this beautiful hand and fixing the parts that I don't like about it, which happened last time. So, I still need to fix some mistakes. I love my eyes, so, yeah. It happens, you know, when, uh, when you make mistakes, it normally happens. It happens naturally, more or less, to be precise. So, yeah, um... I'm trying to do my very best uh, upon fixing this. So once this is all done, you know, we can then finally start looking for a good way to make it, and then uh, we can then finally enjoy, you know, the big giant butterfly. I lately have some troubles with the, uh, how do you say, internet because of the, uh, I don't know, the router did strange things. Like not be able to catch up with the uh, with the uh, videos I was watching. So probably it's a YouTube thing, not another thing like in my place. Probably it's a YouTube thing, but could also be the router. But you know, I'll figure it out later. I'm not trying to focus on my drawing. All right, now I can take a look here. And now we can focus on this part over here, right here. <coughs> now, um, the main problem here is that this thing is too uh, too dark. But I don't want to. Uh, I want to ruin it a little bit, but I don't want to ruin it like by far a lot. So I'm trying to. So I'm gonna be just doing this. Why is it always creating that? There you go, much better. Oh, hey, Blue. Welcome to see you as well. Um, so, yeah, now it's supposed to be better. Because now, this should not stand out. Does it stand out? Yes, it does. So, it still needs to be a little bit more color. No. It's too light, but I don't want to ruin it, so I'm going to be just doing this instead. Now it should be fine. Yep, 
That's good. All right, so now we're gonna rotate this thing back to the normal, uh, normal canvas. So we want to rotate the canvas, rotate the canvas, rotate the canvas to reset. There you go. And now we need to look at the butt of a of a moth because we're gonna be now working on a moth. So we have done claw. Put that there. And I'm gonna put claw four and hold. Neat. There you go. Now we have done claw four. Now we're gonna make this big giant. Oh, if you press five, it resets the canvas to default rotation. Oh, sweet. I didn't know. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. I'm gonna be continue working on my chest and a chair in the background. Nice. My new chair is gonna be uh, coming in Saturday, I'm correct. It's gonna be saving my butt a lot of time. Because holy hell, this this chair is like ten y five years old, probably. Uh, moth. So we're gonna look at the moth again. Oh, moth. Very spooky. Ugh, moth. Images of moth. Ah, there it is, moth. So, um, as I said before. Uh, a moth does have a tiny little face. Um, so the face ratio between a moth. Oh, I did the I did the antenna is way too short. Enough. I made them way too short. I should increase them right about now, but eh, doesn't have to be that perfect. They don't have to be that perfect, but yeah, the moth has like you know a midsection. Like that, and a second section. So it has this mid section, and the butt size is then small. No, it's larger even, so it is more bigger. What the hell is that? What the hell is that? All right, that's creepy. That's a very creepy mod. Right about there, yeah. Hmm. Hmm, that's a creepy ass mod. I will tell you that. Holy hell. So, yeah. What mods do we have? We have the Hummingbird, ha uh, the Hummingbird Hawk Moth, we have the Rosa Mubble Moth. Well, so it, ha it, can go, it can grow colors instead of black or gray. Sweet. Ooh, Luna Moth. That's a real cool aspect of the tail. That's a real cool aspect of the tail. How long did you just look for? Google, do my work. Look for the image. In the meantime, the computer is going to be looking for the image. There it is. Hmm. That's a real cool tail. I really like it. So here's the head. It's like a tiny bit. And you have like. A long, a long, slim body, and then you have the tail right here. Interesting. That could be it. I would be good for that kind of a crunch. Hmm. We have more like a butterfly wing type, so we do have these kind of types on a moth version. So yeah, the moth does have the same. Ability as a butterfly on the wing parts. That's good to know because I didn't know it at all. Alright, so I think I'm gonna go for this kind of tail. That's a real long dragon like tail, which could really work in our favor today. So we're gonna go for a really large tail. I'm gonna go for a long, slim tail instead. And we're gonna put something cool on the end to give it its sapping power. Yeah, I know, right? I know. They yeah, are cool. So, first things first, we're gonna design. We're gonna redesign the. Uh,
we're gonna redesign the body a little bit so we're gonna go back to the body part and the good news is this is why I like my uh, this is why I like my um, picture because I was like hey I'm gonna be using a regular moth but I could also use a lunar moth right now so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna be using this I'm gonna type in here tail just in this just as normal but yeah um, the idea is that you know I can shape this body because all these parts are still not fully connected so this part is not connected 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 so every single thing I can just move allow me to just demonstrate just by a single motion I will go for the head no it's not the head So the ears and the head are still connected. So I need to make sure that I have the heads and the ears on the same problem. So I need to put these two on one whole map group. Quick group two. And I'm gonna call this head. There it goes. So now I have the wings. Oh, I have the wings. Another wing. So if I now want to move the head, if I'm correct, I can now move it just, just easily as I want to. So because I want to move the head, no, that's not the problem. That's fine. I could move the head, but because it's like on lock. And I now select the head. It should move. Yes. Alright, so casually I can move the head towards the right position I want it to be. Now, for instance, I want the head to be here. I can do that. I also need to zoom out on this just to be a little bit more safer. So yeah, I can move the I can move the head anywhere I want to be. And this creates the ability, you know, to adapt and improvise, you know, upon, you know, the length or the size of the body which I'm be I'm gonna be using. So for instance, I'm now now I'm just gonna be doing, you know, the casual stuff which is just putting it back, but um if I'm completing, you know, the tail section, I can then, you know, redesign the body that way that you know the tail fits. But also the body fits, and the head fits, and the wings will fit. Probably it's not going to be looking the same as it should be looking, but I think it should be fine, I guess. So yeah, uh, since I explained that to you guys, I'm going to be now doing it. So I want to have like, you know, a tail. So this is going to be probably the wing, so the wing is going to be here, and then you know, the tail is going to be like right over here, dropping down. So instead of a big bulge, it's more like Correct, that's the vision, right? Well, let me just pick up the ma uh That's exactly what it what it wants. So it wants it wants this to be tall this it wants this to be longer. I don't I'll I'll give it that. I'll give it that, I'll give it it, I'll give it that kind of approach. So yeah, um, you're not probably gonna be seeing a lot now because you know it's just you know me drawing this sketch on how I'm gonna be producing this this tail. So, so I'm gonna put 
Oh, yes! Alright, so I can do that. Minus, I can do that. I want them to be, I want it, I want the tail part to be over here and tight down. To give the effect of motion, yes. And then uh, this can be here. So now we have these big giant. We have this big. Uh, we have these. We have these big giant silk clothes looking like you know silhouette things, which we then can apply it. Can go for big giant feathers on top of tiny feathers, and then you know at the end. Oh, I like this. So then we can actually make this like, and then put spikes. Mm. Yes, baby. Mm, I am getting there again. Jeez. So we're gonna go then for like you know this kind of approach. With then big giant well crystals in the back. Put in two types of crystals in the back, and then you know I can explain why you know the thing is there, and then I can add that to there. Yes, good, 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 good. So it has crystals on the back. No, I need to make it from my head. Right over there. Oh yeah, and the, then these crystals produce the electricity that is necessary to create a shock. It's a melt shock, but it's not a it's not a lethal one. And then I can go for like big giant feathers on the back that then you know will be become the wing in the the tail wing, which then is you know a little bit flamboyant, big oh well not flamboyant, I mean uh, flexible. Yeah, the word flexible to uh, get the enemy. I think uh, that's uh, how I'm going to be approaching. So I'm going to go for big feathers on this part, and then you know, put those feathers on the test like that, and then create that kind of wing. Yeah, that would be very cool looking. I think. <laughs> Make an enemy version of this next, please. <laughs> Hey, space junk. Nice. Yeah, maybe I would. Maybe I will. But uh, yeah, this this looks really. This is gonna be a real cool tail. Um. Oh, that's gonna be a lot of time taking. But where do we start? Uh, do I have my drink? Oh, I have my drink in the back seat. Ah, interesting. Yeah, allow me to grab my drink. I am a little bit rusty. Much better. Full of energy and sugar. All right, let's get started. So, where do I start? Well, um, this tail is probably gonna be very difficult to pull off in one go. So, first things first, we're gonna make a group. And what is the what's the shortcut for quick group? Great group. Create a group. Now, that's not what I wanted. I want to have a quick group. Group, quick group. There you go. I'm gonna call it tail. Oh, I'm so so good. I'm gonna call this tail. So 
I have now made D2. So where do I start? Well, the first thing I'm gonna make is these crystals. So that's what I'm gonna do. Chris, Chris, cry, crystals, crystals. You're a genius. Control G. Yeah, I am a genius. So yeah, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make sure that I'm having like you know the freedom of you know making something and then like oh no I need to make a moth hawk but how does a moth look like well allow me to show you it has a lot of different forms like for instance we have Cthulhu monster oh very spooky we have these beautiful boys but we also have like I can see you in with every single eye we have fluffy sheep yes we have indeed fluffy sheep and mm, and the rest uh, uh, eh not that great terrible zebra yes zebra. Uh, green yellow so yeah they have a what the hell is this allow me to be mathematic about this like you know stripe 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 it's like like a child try to you know color something in it's like an artist trying to draw but this thing holy hell that thing's cool I like it oh it was not on the back it was not connected to the oh oh I didn't know well too bad too sad I'm gonna go with it whatever whatever I thought like oh my god this is actually the tail and then I realized like no it's not a tail. It's never a tail. So yeah, um, looks like it's not gonna be the tail, but I'm gonna be running with it. Jesus, I'm gonna be running with it like a big jar, because it looks way more cooler than than you know big giant fat ass butt. So yeah, I'm gonna be running with that. All right, now I'm gonna be moving the uh, body. Be gone. So yeah, I'm gonna be working now on the crystals. I was very sorry about that. I didn't know that the lunas. Were... So apparently, that green one is actually an uh, endangered species. I didn't know that that was an endangered species. Holy hell! The more I learn. But now I need to learn how to draw crystals. Jeez, why do I need to have so much stuff to look at? This is no fun. I came here to draw, not to look at stuff and then, you know, make a picture of it in my face. Uh, ah, there it is. Crystal. Ooh, crystal. Fascinating crystals. Um, I want the blue one because that represent the, the blue one is easy to explain. Eh, there it is, blue. Beautiful, galactic blue kind of crystal. It's a uh, fluoride... Si it's a natuurlijke fluorite zeshoekige kolomkristal. A punt van healing. Ah, okay, well. I don't care. I don't care that, it, that that's the word. But, you know, that's what, I, that's what I saw. That's the first Dutch word I ever saw in a bloody damn search history coming up as first, as first picture. Well, going great. So I need to... Get this time pointy. Well, I'm going to just pick up the picture again. Uh, Alright, so it is indeed very edgy on the top. So I want to go for like this kind of approach. Where do we want it then to be the crystal point? Yeah, right here. It'll be the crystal point right here. And that one. Is that a right crystal point? No, that would not be. Where should I then put the crystal point? This is a real hard thing to do. Trust me. So, I should then go for like this kind of approach. Oh, there it is. 
Just a crystal point. So I want that crystal point. So yeah. That looks really odd. This is just me. Bring it back. So look, yeah, this is gonna be. Oh hey, Gemini Salami. Friends are such a pain. <laughs> no, 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 my friend. Crystals are a pain because I now need to figure out how to do the crystals correctly. That's the idea. And I'm not very good at that. I'm not very good at drawing crystals correctly. I know that this is going to be the line that I need. So I have one line. I need to know that I have like multiple lines that you know, represent the crystal. But when do I split it again? I think the other way was better. Yes. So I need to put it like that. But then how? Should it end a little bit here? Put it behind the feathers. That would make sense. But actually I need to draw the full. So then I should draw it like this. Yes. Now I have a full blended crystal. Cool. I have the full blended crystal, which that means I can put it inside of my nose. Me using my head is very smart. I'm getting there. Eventually I will get better at you know drawing everything. So, so I have a crystal right there. So now there is a crystal over here. Should then put more more effort to it like that. I should work on this then on the coloring scheme version. Just putting this in like that would not work, right? Because if I draw normally a crystal, it would be like this. That's a normal crystal. These are huge ass pieces of junk crystals that only have a spike version. So it should be only like this. And they are covered with feathers, so they should be like this. Yes. And how do I explain then, you know, the color is oh I need them to Yeah, I need to color I need to color for this. Okay, I need to call for this. I'm so sorry. I'm a little bit stuck at, you know, calculating every single thing I do. So, I'm like, hmm, how can I not do this? How is it possible that I'm not able to do this? I'm like, no, 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 crystals, no, of course. So... Ugh, that's a horrible draw. Much better. No, no, no. Oh, this number. There you go. So yeah, 
Um, so we have one, and then I can go for the second one as well. So now we have two. Cool. Now I need to get back to the option where we are. So because these ones don't have a way of showing, because I'm you know, certain about this, Oh wait, this 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 one does show. This one does show. This one does show. When does it show? It does show here. Yeah, one thing. It's too short. I'm just keep it like that. I could do already the black and white in the film. That would be a better idea. So let me do that. Just keep it to this. Yeah. This one does not have a point, which is annoying. Oh, this will like me with some nice looking shapes. Um, yes. Alright. So we have another crystal there, and now we need to put the crystal inside, so we're gonna make a coloring. Well, this is not gonna be a coloring, this is more gonna be a texture crystal. So since they're all uh this controversy about boob armor at the moment, at least one of us is drawing boob armor on Sunday, right? Yes, of course, of course we are. Of course we're gonna draw a nightly boob armor anime girls. Duh, who would not like that? <laughs> oh boy, I am not gonna be good at it. I'm gonna be horribly ruining that. I really want to just draw a demon prince and in, 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 uh, have a demon knight, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, since I overdid that, I'll be using the other gum. Alright, so now we have the crystal ball moon. I'm gonna take a look at it. That looks decent. That's that's a cool looking crystal. I like it. I like it a lot. Like
So yeah. Hmm. Oh boy, that's that's the wrong move. That's the wrong move, Charlie. You're not supposed to do that. It's all because of Larry. Got distracted. So now we can take away the crystal look, uh, we can take away the till look. And fill up the rest of it. Um, still not so. That's look nice. That looks also very nice. The downside is that the crystals in this part. And do I have a blend? I do have a blend. Huh. Well, that works. Where is the blend boy? Blendy boy. Pixelated boy. Blur. Yes, the blurry boy. Right now, I need to make sure that I put this on really low, right? Otherwise, this will not work out properly. Yes. What if I put it on full? Then, alright. Mm. Is that cool? It's a better looking. No. No. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I like 40. Yes. yes. Well, it works like this, alright? Allow me to explain. I draw a line. It's a big giant line and I will draw a beautiful texture upon it. Then I will use a different color on it as well. To just... I'll show you. So, I'll fill this up with... Ugh, ugh. Ah, beautiful red. Red. Alright? Now, we're going to use the blur tool. Now, if I put this on 100%, it blurs. Alright, it totally uh, s smears every single detail to the motion you did to it. So if I would smear it like this, like that, boom. Or, my favorite, if I lower the capabilities to it, this will happen. So you see, the uh, detail is not that much lost. If I would go even lower, this will happen. So it just gives a little bit more, sm uh, it gives more it loosens the texture and uh, tries to blend everything together. 
like, you know, if I put blue with green, then I get... What do I get when I put blue and green together? Not purple. Brown? Brown, right? Almost brown. Close to brown. Yes, yes, of course. So, yeah. Ah, see? Yes. The same thing as, you know, the size with the pencil. Same thing as the size with the pencil. That's also a key. If I use the size of the pencil like this, I get this kind of graphics. So yeah, it all depends on uh, how how you use the opacity and the size. Allow me to just go for the removal tool because I'm an, I'm an asshole here. I love to put the removal tool online. Removal tool, get your work back. And then I put these in my mind. Uh, pencil there. No problem, Mark. No problem. That's what friends are for. Yep. So that's good. Now we're cool. Alright, so I finished off the crystal, if I'm correct. Right, I'm gonna go. They used the right amount of size. I did use five, right? I did use five. Yes, I used five. Alright, good. Good, 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 good. Now I'm gonna go back to black and white because that's important. Because well, we don't want to mess around with colors just yet. And we need to go back to the tail. Tail, show us your beautifulness and messiness. So we need to now put some texture on on, on top of the crystals. So we're gonna include these textures on top. Oh, we're gonna include these textures on top of the crystals. Or do we want to first finish off the tail? Hmm. Give me a second paint liner for this. I think. And then put it on top of the crystals that way. Yes. Alright, so we're gonna first draw the feather here. Hold your horses. Did I mess around with it? I mess around with the damn thing. Ah, god damn it. Alright, just hold on. Uh, what come is my savior today because I need to cal calibrate me? Ah, damn it. I really hate when I need to do a pen calibration in the middle of the, game, in the, middle of the section. Calibrate. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. There we go. No, we try. Boom. 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 That goes. Now it should be working. Good. Come on. Save. Yes, save. So it's on, yes, it's on point. Oh, I'm zoomed in. I'm zoomed out, of course, that's why. This is all very spooky. Uh, no, definitely not. Definitely no, 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 no spooky. No, no certain Christmas music here. This is a crystal, this is a very, very Christmas Eve, but not. Of course, I need to move. I need to remove the tail, otherwise it won't look like yes, exactly. So yes. Mm -hmm. Well, 
definitely going to be correct tonight. The stream got me in a mood draws, uh, to draw after I'm done 3D modeling. Well, we all know Christmas is spookier than Halloween. <sighs> you don't say. Alright. You should take that back, man. You should take that back before the spook man comes. No. Especially if Spooky Larry comes. Oh. Don't lie to me, on. I know the tune of Jingle Bells whenever I hear it. I am not lying. What are you talking about? Mark is sus here, not me. <laughs> I am totally innocent on this one. Definitely. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm a terrible liar. I am such a terrible liar. Ugh. If I play a game where I need to lie, oh, better get your uh, better get uh, everything prepared because holy hell, it's either me gonna be very suspicious that I'm not lying, or it's gonna be me being very 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 nervous that I'm not even trying to lie. It's so annoying to not be able to lie correctly. Like, how do you lie? Well, um, you first try to. Talk to the person and then tell them false information. Ah, well, I see that that's my problem. So, yeah. You mean Sinterklaas? <laughs> Saint Nicholas, yes, my friend. Saint Nicholas, he's a very cool, cool kind guy. He's even better than Santa most of the times. Yeah, but he brings gifts to everybody. He's also very old. <laughs> uh, every every good old gra every good old person is like, hey, he's gonna bring you gifts. That's what is it gonna be? Well, it's gonna be shampoo this year. How do you know? I don't know. Uh, I just met him. <laughs> he spoke to me on the owls. <laughs> But yeah, I love uh, I love the December months. They are so much fun. Shameful I cannot uh, will visit my grandma too many times then because you know all this Corona and the restrictions around it. It's uh, it's a little bit of a mess. A little bit messy, but for the rest I'm fine. I love to celebrate, you know, New Year's Eve. <laughs> love shampoo. Yes, of course. Everybody knows that you're gonna get shampoo this year because you don't deserve the chocolate. You don't deserve the chocolate. How dare you? Nobody is deserving the chocolate except your girlfriend. Because that's how that's how that's how things work in these times of years. I always I always remembered that uh, my father and my uh, my father always got the the shampoo, and then my mother was like, "Ooh, I got this," and then I'm like. <laughs> Lol, he got shampoo and she got even better stuff. So yeah, um, I'll let me take a look for it. Well, that looks nice. Not fully nice because I still need to. I need still need to fix some parts here. But that looks nice enough. I I really like the crystals here. The main idea of these crystals is like you know they they blend well into it. You don't see it. <laughs> I have been a good person. Please grant me the crystals. Or grant me the shampoo. And... You know, I really love that we have like ch uh, chocolate uh, chocolate places like where they make the chocolate. It's so good. Uh, it's so good when you find a chocolate factory. Mmm. I once went to Belgium for a chocolate factory mu museum. The chocolate was so good. It was so good. So you constantly watch how chocolate is produced and then you visit the, da the last place and then you see a whole dam of statues of chocolate. And then you can finally get some chocolate out of the chocolate factory and it's like... It's all mine! <laughs> it's so good. Alright, um, let's see. 
Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six minutes. So I need to put there some more feathers and here some more feathers. I don't want to put some more feathers here. I need to put more big feathers over here. And I should be fine on that part. I always forget that I need to put the layers off if I wanted to draw, you know, this. Because the layers actually give you false information. Because, you know, you're overlapping drawings. Yeah. I need to remove that place right there, so I need to put some white in here. Good. That's way too big. So yeah. Well, they tease tease you with tease you like there like for so long, and any chocolate would taste amazing. Yeah, I agree with that. Any chocolate tastes amazing. Even white chocolate tastes amazing. I like white chocolate. I also like I also like brown, but pure is like. Eh. I don't like it too much. It's a, it's a little bit not my taste. So yeah. I guess is that the right way to do this? Uh, I need to put this on. <laughs> Can put that is that here. Right, so now this will work. We should be now. All right. I have my connections. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. It. Alright, so, yeah. Uh, that would be fine. That would be fine for now. So, I need to move. Ah, uh, there's so one. I need to put this a little bit down. Boom. Done. Easy. Pats. Alright, um. That is it for today. I hope you enjoyed that. Even though it might not look like much, it is actually quite a lot. We finished off this big boy over here, we fixed the claws, and now we're working towards the tail of the uh, tail of the section. I hope you'll enjoy it for today, and thanks for watching, and I hope I'll see you all next time. Until then, have a nice day. Bye.